Welcome back guys, this is Always back with another video on the channel and today I'm going to be answering a question that I got asked quite a lot in the last few weeks. The question is, is this possible to get a programmer job without a computer science degree or IT degree or without any experience? So I'm going to share my views, what I think about it. You go to university, spend four years, learn how to code, come out and get a job. There's another option, uh, go to a boot camp, spend four to six months, learn how to program, get a job. Third option, self-taught yourself. Nowadays, there are a bunch of websites online and they're quite cheap, they're really cheap, which actually teaches you how to write a code. Now, let's say I'm the employer or maybe I'll go for a programming interview, a programming job interview. So. Let's say I'm a computer science degree holder. I spent four years and I go to an interview and the employer asks me questions and about what I've done and I tell him, okay, I've done a computer science degree and this is what I did. This was my final project. And he goes to me, okay, you got a degree and this, is, this was your final project. Now, can you solve this problem? and I take that problem and I write a code on the paper and let's say I'm not able to solve that problem. So what employer will say, okay, this guy has a degree but he can't solve the problem, he cannot write a code. On the other hand, there's another guy who came for an interview as well. He actually didn't go to university, not even for like six months or not even a semester, didn't go to university, had a different degree, never programmed before. He never actually got a job as a programmer before. Now he goes to interview an employer asking questions and he goes to me, okay, I didn't go to uni, I did not learn a programming, I didn't join any boot camp or I just self-taught myself learning by reading documentation, watching YouTube tutorials or watching, uh, like taking course on online. So you guys, okay, you can, uh, you don't have a degree, but here's the problem, solve it. Now what do you do? You take that problem, you write it down, uh, whatever your answer is, and you actually pass the test. Now, what do you think? Who's going to get a job? A person who has a degree in computer science or a person who doesn't have a degree, never go to uh, work as a programmer, but he solved the problem. Obviously, the employer is looking for a person who can be productive, who can write a code, not a person who just have a piece of paper says, oh, this is a guy who has a computer science degree from uh, top, top universities. Well, this is, uh, this is not going to attract any employer. So, I would be saying that obviously this is 100% possible to get a job without a degree or without any previous experience. Now, I'm going to tell you my story, how I got my first job. So, I had my first job without a computer science degree, without any previous experience. So, the reason why I got the job is, uh, it's just basically I started learning Java as a programming language and I made a few tutorials on YouTube. I wrote a blog and I was writing an article about whatever I was doing. It wasn't big. I didn't make a new Facebook or I didn't invent Facebook or I didn't invent Google or I didn't invent Microsoft, right? You don't have to be uh, developing or like Facebook or something. You just create some small projects which will help you to show your passion, show your interest in programming in the interview. For example, I actually created a calculator which is which wasn't even a graphical calculator and upload that code to GitHub and I upload that code to my portfolio website. So I created a calculator and then the notepad and then I made a, a couple of small games and then created a school management system. So while I was learning, I was storing all the code, what I was writing, and I was uploading that code on uh, GitHub and on my portfolio. And I was making a little bit of tutorial as well. So in my first interview, and uh, yeah, so if the employer asks you, okay, what do you do, then you can actually show something. So, while learning, you should start doing something which can show at the end of the day that this is what you know, this is what you can write, and this is, even though, you, let's say, you, you, you couldn't solve the problem, but you still got a lot of work to show, 
a lot of things i mean it's gonna matter a lot because you can code you, this is what you did even though you wouldn't be able to answer those question and developers as an employer they know that you can't memorize everything so i would say start collecting all your code putting on a github and making a portfolio website and this is going to help you to get a job and if you're learning an android uh, then probably make a small application, upload them on Google Play Store or make an iPhone application. It's, play, it's, it's good as well if you're pursuing a career as an iOS developer. So upload your apps and then you can show to the employer that, okay, this is what I did. So I think this is going to, uh, it's going to help you to get a job. I mean, it's, it's, I think it does matter because it happened to me and I've seen a lot of people getting a job without a degree or without any experience just by having some code written by them and that's when they got a job. So employers are looking for people who are passionate about programming and not just a person who has a piece of paper which tells uh, tells them that oh, this has a computer science degree. So that was my advice for the people who have started learning programming or just uh, switching a career as a programmer or in IT overall. And it applies to every, every technology, every programming language, even though you're learning Java, iOS development, uh, desktop, Windows development, .NET, or whatever you're learning, this is what's gonna get your job to show employers something that this is what you have done. So it's going to it's gonna be a lot easier on your second job or third job because you had a previous experience. But for the first job, you need to have something. You need to show that you are, you are able to write a code. So the way you do it is just by creating your personal projects, uploading them online, and then show them in the interview. This is going to help you a lot. So that's about this video, guys. If you like the video, smash the like button, subscribe to the channel. And if you have any question, you can ask uh, in the comments below or you can follow me on Twitter at awaysmirza01. And you can email me as well and I'll try to answer your questions. So yeah, thanks for watching and I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Chase.